Jerron Boots it is, is now your new IBF welterweight champion of the world. But he ain't satisfied because he still want that smoke with Terrence Bud Crawford and Crawford is refusing to fight him. We're going to talk about that in this video, but before we do that, make sure that you hit my like button, subscribe to the channel if you're not already sub, and after you watch the video, I want to hear y'all thoughts, so drop a comment in the comment section. So y'all probably already know by now that Bud is no longer the IBF champion, meaning that he's no longer undisputed at 147. They just stripped his ass and they awarded the title to Jerron Ennis. Now, this didn't have to happen because all Bud had to do is fight Jerron Ennis, but he ain't want no smoke with Jerron Ennis. Now, of course, now Jerron is finally a champion. You know, Ennis been trying to fight one of these dudes for the longest time. And he not satisfied that he got the belt handed to him. Because we all know people going to call him an email champion and all that. But just like in the past, this always happens when you got the top guys. They don't want no smoke with you. Now, Errol Spence, he had said in the past that he would fight Jerron Ennis just not at 147. He had been letting it be known that the only person he wanted at 147 was Bud, and he was gonna move up to 154. Now, we know that that fight happened, we know how it turned out, so ain't no need to go over all of that. But Bud Crawford, at one point, he was pretending like that he wanted smoke with Boots. He even got on Gillian Wallow, got on the phone with Boots, and was trying to make it seem like that Boots didn't want no smoke with him. And Boots was like, man, you capping. You know I've been wanting to fight you. You know I've been telling everybody that I want to fight you. Bud was trying to act like it never happened. You ain't never wanted to fight me. If you wanted to fight me, we could have been in fault. And Boots was like, bro, you on here showing out for the camera right now. You know Oh, that's some cap. And everybody in their mama and their daddy know that Boots had been calling out Bud Crawford and Errol Spence for the longest time. And then after Bud beat Errol Spence, you know, Boots was on his helmet. I'm your mandatory. I'm not taking no step aside money. So let's get it popping. Bud immediately came out and let everybody know he wasn't fighting Boots. And he made the same excuse that everybody makes when they don't want no smoke. He hasn't done nothing. Who is he? He has to do more to earn a fight with me. And all that, you know, all that duck talk. The talk that they start talking when they not 100% sure that they can beat you, right? Because he didn't say, okay, well, we can make the fight, but they're going to have to pay me this amount of money to make it worth my while. He didn't even say that. He just turned the fight down right away. I'm not fighting him. He ain't done nothing. Did David I been sneezing do anything? Did Mean Machine do anything? I mean, you didn't have no problem fighting none of your other mandatories when they wasn't on the level of a Jerron Boost Ennis, but we understand you didn't want to fight a young, hungry lion that actually does everything you do in the ring, but he do it better. This man Jerron Ennis switches from Southpaw to Orthodox in mid combination. He does it throughout the fight. You don't know when he gonna go orthodox. You don't know when he gonna go southpaw. He constantly does it every round. On the other hand, Terrence Crawford, he'll start out the fight orthodox, fight orthodox for about two rounds, and then switch to southpaw and never switch back. And in the Errol Spence fight, he never even started the fight off in orthodox. He went straight to southpaw, and that's how he beat Errol Spence. But Jerron Boost Ennis is faster, he hit harder, he's slicker. Now the only thing that Bud has over him is ring IQ and experience. Now, I've always favored Jerron Boost Ennis over Bud Crawford because I'm going to take the younger, more athletic fighter that can do the same things that you can do, but even do them better. Now I'm going to keep it real. 
Both of them are strong fighters. You know what I'm saying? And I'm talking about physical strength. But I don't think that Boots is as strong as Terrence Crawford. Crawford is strong as an ox. So that's another attribute that he do have over Jerron Ennis. But other than that, it's going to come down to a firefight. And I got somebody getting knocked out. And I got Bud getting knocked out because Boots is just physically all around better than Bud Crawford. And this is the reason why Bud Crawford did not want to fight Boots. I mean, they could have easily made this fight. Matter of fact, and before all of this Showtime news came out that Showtime wasn't going to continue on with boxing, Espinosa came out and he was saying that they wanted to make Boots and Terrence Crawford even more so at that time than Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford rematch. So they really wanted that fight to happen over there at the PBC. But like I said, once again, Bud let it be known he was never going to fight Boots. And so now Boots, of course, he's happy that he finally got the strap because him and his team feel that now if you want to become the IBF champion, of course, you got to go through me. But on the other end, you know, he a real champion. He a real dog. You know, he want to fight the best and he wants his chance to show that he is the best of the best. And, you know, getting the belt given to him, it ain't really his way of becoming champion, right? He never thought that he would have to become champion because these guys would just duck him and then he would just get hand over a title. Now, on the other hand, let me give Bud some slack, right? Let me give him some slack because I do understand if Bud Crawford is going to move to 154 and he's never coming back down to 147. If he's saying, you know what, I just can't make the weight no more, I'm going to move to 154 and me and Errol Spence, we're going to have our rematch and then whatever I do there is what I do, but I'm never coming back down to 147. I understand that, right? But if that's the case, why was he telling Errol Spence that you got to fight me at 147? Why was he saying I'm not fighting Errol Spence unless it's at 147, but then telling everybody else at 147, nah, we can't fight. So it don't make sense right now. But, you know, if he was just bluffing to sell the fight, to get more people interested, to get more people talking about the rematch between him and Errol Spence, I understand. It all makes sense. But if he never takes another fight at 147 again, then, you know, it looks a little better on his part. It don't look like that he just flat out ducked. It looks like, well, you know, I was done with the weight division. You know, my body outgrew the weight division. So if he wants some smoke, we could have got it done at another weight division. He could have even said that shit, right? He could have even said if Jerron wants some smoke, we could get it done at another weight division. But I'm not fighting him at 147 because I'm not going back down. So, man, it is what it is. However you want to chalk it up, he didn't want to fight Jerron Ennis. A lot of these guys, they admitted that they don't want no smoke with Boots. You know, Keith Thurman tried to pretend like he ain't even know who Boots was at one point in time. Then they start offering Keith Thurman to fight with Boots, and he was turning it down. Sean Porter came straight out and said, I'm not fighting no Jerron Ennis. Y'all crazy. He too young, he too skilled, and he too hungry. The only one that acted like he wanted some smoke was Errol Spence. So, man, let's see what Jerron Booth does from here on. I don't see nobody at 147 beating him. And to keep it a buck, I don't see nobody at 154 beating him. I don't see nobody beating this kid for a long time. And he's still hella young. He only, what, 25 years old. So, yeah, he going to do damage for a long time. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this. Who do y'all want to see Boots get in the ring with next? Drop a comment. Make sure that you hit my like button. Subscribe to the channel. And y'all already know how I do. Tango talking that boxing again. And I'm gone. Black, black, choking on that leak. Two miles per hour so everybody sees you.